Hey. So, uh, I just got to Petron Ring um, this afternoon. I was off yesterday because I went with the gym to uh, film and watch the boys fight at Lumpany. So, we had three boys on the card at Lumpany last night. <laughs> Incredible day. Like, so many adventures in a 24 hour period. <laughs> and, like, so many uh, good, amazing things happening that day. But, um, one is that I'm a little bit tired. It's it's like traveling, so it's like really exhausting the day after, even though I got quite a lot of sleep, slept in this morning after going to bed last night. Um, but I can definitely feel that like a bit of my emotional state right now is like fatigue. Um, but last night uh, was almost a year from, like maybe a little more than a year from when I went with Angie, uh, my teammate and the first trans fighter ever to fight at Lumpany. Um, I went to her first fight and I had this update afterwards about how she's kind of this process in the road of, of my dream of getting to Lumpany and how proud of her I was and how she had to fight the way that she fought and knocked this guy out and it was like this huge emotional moment and then last night I kind of had another emotional moment because the photographer who takes pictures of the fighters when they exit the ring with like the VIP ringside people who want to take pictures with them um, was like, can I take a picture of you? And at first I was like, oh no, no, don't worry about it. And then I was like, yeah, fuck yeah, <laughs> take that picture. And so he took a picture of me and um, it reminded me of this moment in the movie they made of Samart where he borrows a teammate's belt and takes a photo of himself with it as this like, moment to meditate on of when he's going to become a champion. So I was like, this picture is my smart borrowing the belt moment of trying to reach towards this impossible, currently impossible achievement. So fast forward today, I'm at Petron Rung and I'm hitting the bag and kind of um, between knees, uh, I'm kind of like staring off into space, like a little pensive. And so um, Yodokumpan is like, Sylvia, what's wrong with you? <laughs> you don't seem happy. Uh, and I was like, no, it's fine. And I just kind of like got a little bit on the verge of tears. Um, and I was explaining to him, I'm like, I'm a woman, women don't have anywhere to go. Like, we can't fight at Lumpany. Like, we can't, where am I gonna go? I just keep fighting in Chiang Mai. And he was like, what are you talking about? He's like, you're so famous, everyone knows you. He's like, everyone I talk to about you knows you. And they're like, there is nobody else who has, you know, 220 fights, whatever the thing is. And it reminded me of this thing that Kevin says when he's like, I need to give myself credit or realize how amazing it is that I win so many of my fights not actually really knowing how to fight very well. <laughs> like, I don't strike the strikes that score really high, so I'm not like a point winning fighter. Um, and so he sees it as this like amazing thing that I fight as well as I do, given that I don't fight in the rule book um, as much as people who fight in the rule book would do really, really well in fights. And Yod Khan was saying to me, he's like, the fact that you're this famous and you're not a Lumpany fighter is unreal. He's like, the only fighters people know are from, you know, these huge names are Lumpany champions and Raj Domner champions. And he's like, you're super famous without being that. Which was a really beautiful thing to say. And it was a beautiful thing to think about. But I still fucking want to fight at Lumpany <laughs> and Raja Dhamra. So that's my emotional state coming back to training the day after going and like visiting the land. Um, and I had this like strong surge when I was at Lumpany, this kind of like, I want this place to feel familiar to me the way that Tape up in the north feels familiar to me where I am allowed to fight. Um, and it kind of let me recognize that I've been putting in kind of a para career um, to the way that some of these top fighters have grown up fighting just on a completely like parallel road so it's trying to make those lines not parallel I guess is my like impossible goal at the moment so um, taking a moment out of my training to come blather at you guys and cry a little bit <laughs> and then I'll get back to kneeing the bag because that's what I do <laughs>